Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 of problem 4 demo on CNC manual part programming for a turning profile using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. These are all video tutorials of CNC manual part programming of turning exercises involving grooving using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. Now as you see here this problem this problem has already been done in session 1. In this session 1, I have clearly explained how to draw, draw the manual part programming for this profiling including grooving. These things have already been done in session 1. Now I totally concentrate on how to do the simulation part of it. Okay, how to do the simulation. Okay, this is the thing. And as you see here, the highlights of this is I have to leave an alliance of 0.1 mm on both X and Z after rough turning. That is, if this is, as you see here, this is 24 means 0.1 will be left here, 0.1 will be left here. Actually, after rough turning, it will be 24.2. And as and this is actually 36, no. After rough turning, it will be 36.2. Okay. And even this, if it is 20, it is 19.9 after rough turning. Um, and this is, no, this actually 20, 60 from here to here, it is 59.9 after rough turning. That means I am using G71 multiple turning. That is after multiple turning, multiple rough turning, you would have left an alliance of 0.1 on X. That is perpendicular to the axis. And along the Z also, that is along the axis also, 0.1 mm will be left. That only 0.1 mm will be removed during finishing cycle. As a result, this profile will have the best possible finish. Is it okay? Now we will concentrate on the profiling, that is the actual simulation part of it. These things, whatever I have done in the last session, I will just go through fast. You see here, this is the thing. I have to use three tools here. One star rough turning, one for finish turning, one for growing. And stick to the feeds what I given. Stick to the speeds what I given. Okay. This is the planning and operation sheet. And uh, looking at the uh, profile to be cut. I have taken the billet size and all that. Little more than the uh, profile to be cut. Okay. And see here. This is 50, 50. And this is up till here it is 90. And that is why I have taken 50, 110. Okay. And the initial settings and all that. You see here. This is U1 is as I have given in the problem, please understand, this is multiple turning, rough turning. U1 will represent the depth of cut or cut increment. Every time the tool passes, it will remove 1 mm material. That means diametrically it reduces by 2 mm. The depth of cut will always be 1 mm as per this problem. If you make 2, the depth of cut will be 2 mm. Now I have made, as per the problem, it is U1. That is why the depth of cut will be 1 mm. Diametrically it reduces by 2 mm. Then R1 is retract distance, going back by going back distance is 1 mm and all that. Then as I have told you, P10, Q20 means between the block numbers N10 and N20, you have the actual program for the profiling, A, B, C, D, E, F and all that. Okay. And clearly you see, I have given U.1, W.1 means you should leave an alliance of 0.1 on X and 0.1 on Z. Okay. As I have told you, it is 24.2, this one. And this one is 36.2. That 0.2 will be removed during finishing. Even here, if it is 20 here, and this is 60 here, this is 19.9. And this is 60 means 59.9 during rough turning and during finish turning. And only the alliances only will be removed so that you will get the maximum possible finish. Okay. This is the thing. Now, this is rough turning. And I am uh, using the second tool. You see a second tool, finishing tool. Speed is increased to 2000. And P10 Q20, G70 is finished turning cycle. P10 Q20 F30 means immediately between the block numbers N10 and N20 with a feed of 30, that alliances will be removed and you will get the uh, you will get the profile exactly as per the dimensions with maximum possible finish. Okay. Le removing the alliance during the finishing and all that. Okay. Now these things I have told you and also I have told you, uh, see here, 40... 43 x 26 it is already 24 little more than that x 26 z minus 43 the tool will come it will cut and all that then it will move actually how it cuts and all that i tell you even here it is 20 40 60 72 75 x 75 you see here 
Next, x75, x38, 38, 36, little more than that, 38, z minus 75. Up till here, 72 plus 3 mm is the width of the tool. 75 it comes. Then how it cuts and all that, I'll tell you in the simulation. Okay. Now, I'll go for the simulation. Okay. I'll go for the simulation. See here. Now, using the, uh, the docs boss, I have already got the simulation screen. Now, what I'll do is Fn, that is function Fp, file name for load task. I'll just do fourth, that is, this I have made it already ready. Okay, can you see here? P10, Q20, U.1, W.1, the alliances to be left on, X and Z, everything is okay and all that. This is rapid traverse coming to X52, Z2, okay, coming rapidly to this point and all that. Everything I've explained in this session one. Now we'll concentrate on simulation. But before simulation, just check whether the tools are okay. Now F10, that is F9. You said set tooling. Set tooling, you see, tool one. Let's see, this is roughing tool is okay. Okay. Then tool two, you see, tool two, finishing tool is also okay. If it is something else, no, uh, you just uh, using the arrow keys, no, you bring it to finishing tool. Okay. Finishing tool, you come. Okay. Then tool three should be grooming tool. Grooming tool, 3 mm grooming tool. If it is 2mm or something else, threading tool and all that, use the arrow keys here, four arrow keys. Okay. You see that 3mm grooving tool is there. Okay. Then you just say both things up. That means the tools have been fixed. Then you put escape key. Now what you do is, the tooling is also, uh, has already been covered. Now you do that. Function F9 you do. First check for the error in the program. If there are any error in the program, it immediately gives this Fanuk turning simulation software. This is a software which will be on the machine also. In the machine also, you enter the same thing and you get not only the simulation and if you feed the component, the component is also obtained. That is the beauty of this software. Fanuk turning simulation software, you get not only the simulation, immediately, once you execute CNC, that the component is also obtained. Okay. Now, function F9 you do. Dry run you do. Once you do dry run, it will x50. Correct? No? This is x50. And z110, this 110 you get. That means up to 90 you have the program. I have extra material here. It is 110. Okay. Now that is, next again put F9. Then you go for run program. If you go for run program, if you go for run program, you keep observing here. You see 89.9, you, you observe so many things are there to learn. It is 89.9 means because during finishing, 89.9 will become 90. And the cut increment is 1 mm. That's why diametrically every cutting here, it will be reducing by 2 to mm. Now you see here 44, no? 44. That, that means the depth of cut is 1 mm. Okay, 44. Next it will be 42. You see here. Depth of cut is 1 mm means diametrically it reduces by 2 mm. That's why 42 mm. Then 40. Can you observe 40? And importantly here you observe this 89.9. Okay. That is Z. Z. That point 0.1 will be increased to uh, 90 during finishing. That point 0.9, point 0.1 is left clearly for finishing. Even here you see 60, 59.9. See here, 59.9. You can clearly observe 59.9. It will be removed during finishing. Let's say 59.9 will, will become 60 during finishing, minus 60. Then you see here, X30. Then X28. X26. Okay, X24. Ah. See here, again, always 19.9, you see here, 19.9. Be careful. Now it is doing the taper now. Taper and all that. Okay, now it is only rough turning. Now the next the finish tuning will come and we'll remove the, now it is rough turning. See here, 19.9. Okay, 59.9. Side 36. Okay, now you see here, that point 36.1 means that point 0.1 will be removed during finishing. Now you see it, 24, 
36 in that way it is that next you see here carefully your finished ruling will come you see here now it will is here this is cutting no this is totally 6 mm now radially it will be cutting by 0.1 mm now you see here axle it has moved by 1.5 mm now it is 44.5 44.5 next it will be 46 another 1.5 it will do and uh, this vertically that is radially 0.1 will be the depth of cut okay now it is it will go it will go next it will come to the x38 z is here x38 z minus 75 now you see here clearly you understand this this is this has to be understood very carefully now it is 76 uh, 0.5 that is first it was 75 75 76.5 then another 1.5 78 next you see 79.5 Okay, 79.5. Then it moves again. 81. 81. Next, 82. In that way, I, I got the required width of the tool. Okay, did you follow? The, in that same way, as you see here, this is very important thing. See carefully. This you have to see carefully here in the G75 cycle it comes to X26 Z minus 43 that is some here then W minus 3 is that that means P100 is peak increment that means vertically that is radially every time it cuts by 0.1 mm so the diametrically it reduces by 0.2 0.1 mm goes back by R1. That is radius of retract distance. Retract distance is 1 mm. In that way, 0.1 mm, 0.1 mm depth of cut. In that way, it goes on doing till the final depth is reached. Then once final depth is reached, okay, final depth is, as you see here, it is X16. X16 should reach. Then after that, I have given 1500 is the axial distance. That is, uh, actually it has to move by 1500. 1500 the microns 1.5 that means it is once it uh, 43 is that 43 plus another uh, 1.5 it moves 44.5 another 1.5 it moves it will be 46 so that 3 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 that will be the 6 mm is the width of the groove okay width of the groove that is what I have got here in the same way here also you see here if you see here if you see here the next one it is x38 z minus 45 okay x38 z minus 45 is a z minus 75 x38 z minus 75 this is 75 that means i want the total depth of cut should be 10 mm correct no? the total depth of, the, sorry total width of the cut should be 10 mm then first it will cut 3 mm. Once it cuts 3 mm, peak increment is 0.1. Radially 0.1 is the depth of cut till the final diameter is obtained. The final diameter, as you know here, it is X30. Up to X30 it does. Once it, is, it does, then it moves actually by 1.5. That means it moves actually by, it is, it has come to Z minus 75. Z 75 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 in that way it goes 75 76.5 78 79.5 in that way finally 75 totally the depth of that is width of the cut should be 10 mm that means as you see here 3 mm would have been cut already then 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 that is 6 mm finally 1 mm 1 mm totally it becomes 7 mm did you follow that is why first 3 mm then 1.5 another 1.5 another 1.5 another 1.5 6 plus 3 9 finally it moves actually by 1 mm so that the total width of the cut will be exactly 10 mm in that way this has been demonstrated now we have come to the end of session 2 we have finished the problem thank you friends thank you for watching thank you